side of the road in Olmsted Falls with vicious bite marks. Now, the animal shelter is helping him try to find his way back home. News Channel 5's Home of Bash tells us this is a case that should serve as a lesson to all dog owners. Meet Dapper Dan. Because he's a very fabulous gentleman. You can't tell by the way his tail wags now, but the nine year old golden retriever came to the Cuyahoga County Animal Shelter after a good Samaritan found him stranded here in Olmsted Falls. A huge gash on his neck and bite marks embedded in his fluffy fur. It's clear something viciously attacked him, but it's not clear exactly what that was. His wound is quite quite deep and a little bit more vicious than what we would have normally seen from a regular dog bite. These photos showing just how horrific his injuries were before vets started stitching him back up. He's clearly been well loved. He's a, he's a little on the pudgy side. I couldn't even imagine that happening. Baby Bryce on one side, new puppy Milo on the other. Laura Reed's hands are clearly full, but she knows just how important it is to get that little guy licensed. It's very important to me, especially if I lose him. I'd want somebody to come bring him back to me. Which leads us back to the problem with Dan. Nearly two weeks later, the search for his owner is stalled because he wasn't licensed or microchipped. According to kennel manager Mindy Naccioni, that's the case with nearly 90% of the canines coming through the shelter's doors. Had he had on his dog license, we would be able to identify his owners and get him back home. Hi. Reporting in Olmsted Falls, I'm Homa Bash, News Channel 5. Such a good-looking dog. Well, by state law, Dan technically already belongs to the shelter, but they're hoping his rightful owners can come claim him and take him home. If they don't, he'll go up for adoption.